All right, guys. I'm going to show you how to make adjustments on a scope that have minute of angle adjustments, but have a mill reticle, meaning a mill minute scope. Here we have a traditional mill minute scope, pretty common. It's an eight and a half to 25 by 50 millimeter Mark IV. It has minute of angle adjustments. As you can see, it's zero. This is quarter minute clicks. So it goes zero, one, two, three, four, and then one, meaning one minute. Four more clicks get you two minutes. Four more clicks get you three minutes. It's pretty easy to understand as long as you can understand fractions. If it says eighth minute, it just means there's eight clicks to one minute. Now if you're confused on what a minute of angle is, a minute of angle is one degree out of 360 degrees. If we took one degree, chopped it into 60 pieces, it'd be 1 60th of a degree. That's a minute of angle. What's that mean to you as the shooter? Nothing. You can't really use that information, so let's not sweat that. A minute of angle equals 1.047 inches. This is an important number. You should write this down. Or roughly one inch at 100 yards. And it grows with distance. The easy way to remember it is one minute of angle, and that's just one minute of angle. It is one inch at 100 yards, it's two inches at 200 yards, it's three inches at 300 yards, and so on and so on and so on. So, if we are at 100 yards, and we're looking at our turret, we're say zeroing the gun, we're at 100 yards. Every time I move one minute, that's an inch, one, or 1.047 inches, or roughly one inch. I move another minute, I just moved another inch. Now if let's say the target was at 400 yards, well a minute of angle equals roughly four inches at 400 yards. So if I moved the adjustment another minute, I just moved four inches at 400 yards. All you need to say is, what is the distance? and then what does a minute equal at that distance? If it's 1,000 yards, it is roughly 10 inches. The, the way you figure it out correctly is by taking this number and then timesing it by, for let's say 1,000 yards, by 10. If it was 500 yards, it'd be by five. So at one minute of angle at 1,000 yards equals 10.47 inches because we move the decimal place over. It's pretty easy to understand. So all you need to do is think about the distance you are to the target first. Then think what your minute of angle equals at that distance. If I'm at a thousand yards, it's one, ten inch at roughly ten inches. Then I think about how much my miss was. Let's just say you're looking through a spotter and you have no reticle in front of you. If you saw that you were two feet low, well that's twenty four inches. How many 10 inch pieces does it take to get 24? One 10 inch and one 10 inch is 20, so that's 20 inches, so that's two minutes. And then we need to use a fraction of that to get the four inches. Well, what's, since we have quarter minute adjustments, and for the whole minute it's 10 inches, obviously if I do one click at a thousand, that's two and a half inches roughly. So if I do another click, that's 5 inches. Well, if I spot it at five, 24 inches low, and I just dialed now roughly 25 inches, I should be good to go. Now, that's how you do it without a reticle. I know it's a little comp confusing, but it just takes a little time. Now, if you have a reticle, and we'll use a standard mill dot reticle, or a TMR if you want, or a Gen 2 if you want, whatever you want to kind of understand. All you need to understand is that a minute of angle is 1.047 inches and it grows with distance proportionately. One mil equals 3.43 minutes. So every one mil you come down, it's 3.43. So then I add on another 3.43 and another 343, three, and another 343, three, and another 343. Three, three. It don't matter how far away it is. 
as long as you have the reticle set at the mill setting, it's just 3.43. Now here's where the problem really comes in when you're making minute of angle adjustments with a mill reticle. Here is our reticle. I've now taken another drawing here and shown the reticle with the actual MOA value. So 343 plus another 343. So if you were two mils down, you need 6.86 minutes to hit that target. The problem is we have quarter minute adjustments, meaning you can dial, say, well, we're looking right here at the reticle. Let me get it focused in. You can dial four and a quarter, four and a half, four, seven, five, then five, then five and a quarter. It's quarter minute. Well, you look down here, three, four, three. That's not a quarter. That's not a half. We cannot dial this number. What do we do? Well, we fudge with the numbers just a little bit. We call a mill three and a half minutes instead of three, four, three. Is it correct? No, but it's close enough and it's easy for you to, on the fly to make an adjustment. So if you were aiming up here and you miss the target two mils low, we dial seven minutes on the gun. Now with this error, there comes a little bit of understanding what our error is going to entail. Once we start, as we get farther and farther and farther away, and we can still keep dialing beyond this, obviously you can see right here, we, when we're fudging the numbers, we have 0.35 variance here at 5 mils. And it's going to keep getting more. 3.5 is actually one full click value, or um, over that. So you can actually mechanically see the error, not just physically or numerically see that error. Because you're going to actually make a scope adjustment that's not technically correct. If we wanted to dial that, we want to hit 17.25 would be about the closest we could dial. But according to our little number fudging here, it's 17 and a half. That's if you use the reticle as a if you're trying to use the reticle as a ruler on the mill setting. If you don't have a reticle that has a uh, a set of measurements on it, just a standard duplex, then you have to eyeball it. And that's how you get the one inch per hundred yards idea. You can spot your spot your impact, call it in inches. So if it's a 10 inch target at 500 yards and you're five inches low, well that means you need 10 minute, 10 inches up to get to the center of that plate because you're five inches below the edge of that plate. So how many minutes is 10 inches at 500 yards? It's two minutes. So now you understand I've explained to you how a minute of angle it grows with distance. It starts off as 1.047 and it gets bigger to 1047 at a thousand, but it's all still just one minute. It's an angular adjustment. When you print off your debt, if you use a ballistics calculator, you need to print off a ballistics card or draw it, write it down and you'll have it in minutes. So I can look at this and I can say 500 yards, 5.75 minutes. Well, if I want to make the hold, where's 7.75? Well, here's 7, 10 and a half. 7.75 would probably be somewhere right there off the end of my finger. You'd hold there and fire. Or you could reach up, look at your turret head, dial 7.75, and fire. It should be the same thing. And then on the other column you're going to have windage. When, this is your 10 mile an hour full value wind. That's going to be something I'll probably do in another video. But basically you're going to stab, you're going to figure out what your predominant wind condition is and you're going to use this dope as a fun basis to apply whatever your wind conditions actually are with a 10 mile an hour full value wind number here. So the big numbers to remember is 1.047 inches at 100 yards or roughly one inch. A mil is 3.43 minutes of angle. That's that, those, those numbers up there on the turret head. 
and that we know that it's actually this 343. Three and a half plus three and a half plus three and a half. It's easy to go three and a half, seven, ten and a half, fourteen, seventeen and a half. And a half a mil would be one seven five. So if you needed one and a half, what's one seven five plus three and a three and a half? Well, that's four and a quarter plus one, five and a quarter. So there's five and a quarter right there. It's pretty easy to understand if you take it step at a time. That's mill minute adjustments in a nutshell. Hope this helps.